Let's look at question 4C, part 2 now. Earlier we found that the line cross the y-axis at um, 0, 07. Now the question is, what is the gradient of this line? All right. Let's look at what the gradient of this line is. Let me just put it up here to make some space. All right. Now let me just erase some of these things that we have here. The 0, 07. Let me write it up here. It's more convenient. 07. That was the answer for part 1. And then we get rid of this. Alright. Now, how can we find the gradient of this line? Now, we remember the gradient, it might be positive, it might be negative, whatever the case is. Alright. For example, if you have your y and x axis, if the line is like this, it has a positive gradient. If it is like this, you have a negative gradient. Or whatever the case is, we'll find out. One thing you could do, one method, is to rewrite the equation in the form y equal mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is wherever it cuts the y axis. Alright? Now, we have 0, 07. We know that it cut the y axis at 7. Y is 7. Here is where it would cut the y axis. So we could say Y which is 7 is equal to m times x x was 0 plus c so c is 0 All right so we can see that now as for finding out what the gradient is we could rewrite the equation in this form if we have x over 3 plus y over 7 equal 1, <coughs> notice the y equal mx c plus c is flat. There's no fraction. So we could do the same thing here. I realize that if I multiply this by 21, which is the same as by 7 times 3, I would get 3 into 3, 1, 3 into 21, 7. So you have 7x plus this times 21, this must be multiplied by 21, 2, 7 to 7, 1, times 7 to 21, 3, 3 times y is 3y, equals 21. Let me draw a line here to separate the work. So then, I could say, subtract 7x from both sides. So if I'm minus 7x, 7x minus itself and it's gone. And I only have 3y left on the left. Equal, I subtract 7x from the right hand side and I have 21 minus 7x. Rewrite the right hand side to get 3y is equal to negative 7x plus 21. You see that? And then divide by 3. If I divide by 3, this by 3, this by 3. 3 cancels 3, so I have y equals negative 7 over 3x plus 3 into 3, 1, 20, 3 into 21, 7 plus 7. Now, m is the number that multiplies x. Negative 7 over 3 is the number that multiplies x. So, the gradient is negative 7 over 3. That is one way you could figure it out, alright? Let's look if we have another way to figure out what the gradient is. Suppose I use this formula. The gradient, let's use m, let's call it m, is equal to y2 minus y1 
that's the rise over x2 minus x1 that's the run you remember if we have a case like this and we have point 0.1 x1 y1 we have point 0.2 x2 y2 we form a right angle triangle y2 minus y1 would be the difference in the height so that's the rise over x2 minus x1 would be the difference in the length so that's the run all right so we use this formula now let's make some space i want to make a note first of all that the gradient found was negative 7 over 3 and then we erase these to make some space let's try using this method and see what happens here we already have one point zero seven call this point one x one y one now this line will cut i will cross the x-axis at some point and when it crosses the x-axis then y is zero so let's find out what is x when y is zero so if it crosses here it's on y equals zero it's on the, the x-axis is the line y equals zero so here what is x when y equals zero we have x over three plus y over seven equals one when y is zero we have zero over seven but what is zero over seven is zero so x over three plus zero equals zero right now this becomes x over three equals zero so here when you have the y being zero where does it cut the x axis x over 3 plus 0 is 0 so remember x over 3 plus y is 0 and the x where am I talking about 0 is 1 is my mistake I had put 0 out here it should be 1 1 it should be 1 so x over 3 plus 0 over 7 equals 1 x over 3 plus 0 because 0 over 7 is 0 is equal to 1 now x over 3 is 1 so when you multiply both sides by 3 times 3 times 3 what you get is, is that x is equal to 3 so it cuts the x-axis where y is 0 and x is 3 so we have another point x is 3 and y is 0 call this point 2 so we have x2 y2 now the gradient is y2 which is 0 minus y1 which is 7 you see that I have y2 here is 0 minus y1 is 7 over x2 x2 is 3 minus what is x1 x1 is 0 so what does this come down to 0 minus 7 is negative 7 over 3 minus 0 is 3 all right so we have negative 7 over 3 again using two different methods all right so those are two possible ways that you could um, get the the gradient of the line right now you could see it from a graph as well after finding out that two points on the line are 0 7 and 3 0 what you could do let me just get rid of some of these things what you could do if you sketch your 
x and y axis here and the line we know that y is 7 is where it crosses the y axis and x is 0 when x is 3 y is 0 now you see that the rise between these two points the rise is 7 and the run is 3 and the line runs from upper left to lower right so it has a negative gradient so this is yet another way you could figure out that the gradient of the line is negative 7 over 3 all right so you have various ways you can figure out what the gradient of the line is